All right, guys, uh, welcome to the Aventure S-17. As you can see, this is our panel. We're climbing up. We're going to be doing a test today. Uh, today's test is going to involve seeing what our glide ratio is and our descent rate with the engine completely stopped. So we're going to be climbing up to approximately, let's just say, 5,000 feet, at which point I will kill the engine and establish a descent rate that gives me my best glide. All right, so one thing to pay attention to, guys, is uh, for this video purpose, we do have angle of attack indicator on our wing bugs, which I know my upper limit for this aircraft is 15. So right now we're at six, because we do have a slight climb attitude in with a low power setting for cruise. And so we're slowly climbing up. You know, we're establishing about a 100 to 200 feet per minute climb. Um, so my angle's right now about five or six. So when we kill the engine, we want to make sure we never exceed 15, because that's our AOA. That means we're gonna stall, obviously. So regardless of our angle of attitude, angle of attack is more important in this case. All right, so I'm turning to the east now. That gives us our best wind. And uh, we're going to go ahead and bring her back to idle and then uh, kill the engine. So right now I'm about 4580 on the altitude. We're on the very north tip of the lake. We're doing 360 right now. Okay, roger that. Roger that. I'm going to go ahead and observe radio silence for just so I can hear everything uh, for the next thousand feet. So I'd appreciate it if you just stay quiet for a little bit, and then I'll call you when uh, I'm ready to fire back up. Copy that. Alrighty. So right now we're at 40, approximately 46.40, and we're headed directly into the wind. So we're going to event mark this, and we're going to start bringing back power, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. So here we go. Event marker one. Power coming back. See, we're bleeding off airspeed, so we want to get our airspeed back, and we're going to cut it off. We're going to use the switch so we maintain fuel pressure. All right, fuel pumps off, and we're gliding. Right now, we're at 4340, 58 knots, so we'll bring her back a little bit. We're dropping approximately 900 feet per minute. Hey, Oscar, this is good on uh, 475. 800 feet per minute. And 54 knots. Doing pretty well. We're coming down on the once we hit about 3,500, I'm going to restart. Here we have enough altitude to recover. We're averaging about 850 on the descent rate. Hold and level, very easily controllable. All right, 3,500, event marked. And time to start it back up. And we have power reestablished. Everything's looking good on the temperatures. We're coming in with power. All right, Larry, I restarted. Everything's good. Back got power back, and we're uh, good to go. Copy that. That's awesome, man. We see you. We are, uh, we're just going to sit here and circle over the lake. I just hit my own weight. And then when you come down, we'll move out for you. OK, if I do that, I'm going to start descending. Um, that way I get to lose some altitude and we'll do some uh, cool stuff and then uh, head back. Copy that. I got you in sight. I'm about your 1 o'clock right now. I'm coming over to, uh, you're at my 11 o'clock. Copy, I got you in sight. But one thing right now, a good indication right now, we're at 10 on our AOA. Because we're only doing about 56 knots, we have a very low power setting, 2880, and we're fairly level. So if I were to bring that back and it got up to 15, that's when I would expect my buffet, which in this case is how this aircraft actually stalls. It's a very docile stall. So uh, just another thing to pay attention to when you're uh, doing these tests, because that is a great indication of whether or not you're going to lose lift. And something we obviously observe coming down, um, whether I announce it or not, but we'll be able to replay that back in the video. So.